Hi, I'm Josh. And I'm Jenna. And, and welcome, welcome to, to the, the Castle, Castle House. House. I've been busy trying to finalise the design so we can make some decisions. There's a juxtaposition between the old and the new, so I'm just trying to get that balance right. There are so many decisions to be made from tapware to appliances, lighting through to furniture, and they all go a long way in making a house a home. Last week, we tried to make our selections in Melbourne with the kids, and that was an absolute disaster. So I'm headed back tomorrow solo so I can actually make some decisions. Although I've made all of my selections online, it's so important to see the products in real life. There's a huge variation between a small sample size and a computer screen versus what you actually see in real life. Especially when you're looking at timber veneers, you wanna see how the grain runs and how it looks on a larger scale. So I'm excited to go to Melbourne and I'm even more excited to go by myself. We've been working with sanctuary makers to custom design tiles to suit our space. We're really excited to see the end result. So today I'm at the showroom to get a little factory tour, see how it's all been made and sign off on the design. I've also been working closely with DIY Home, who are helping us with our selections for our joinery, flooring and window furnishings. We've worked with DIY Blinds on past projects for our window furnishings, but now they're venturing into the entire home space. Okay, okay well, obviously the project has gone in a million different yeah. directions. Yes. I'm back from my shopping trip and it was a huge success. It's amazing how many decisions you can make when you're not worrying about the kids. Now that I've seen the sample, I'm really confident in the design direction. It's all about creating a family home with durable materials, an earthy colour palette, and most importantly, a home that's easy to live in. So all the interior design is finally locked in for the extension and the old house. And we've slowly been working towards our landscaping plan as well. As you can see, we've installed 12.6 kilowatt solar system for our house, which is huge. And that's gonna help power the property and our electric car as well. We've also ordered all our planter boxes. We've got our soil, we've got the chickens, and we've ordered a flow hive so we can start harvesting some honey ourselves. So we're getting very close to that goal of being fully self-sufficient. Like any good renovation, it's one step forward and two steps back. So we had a builder locked in to help us with the extension of the old house. Unfortunately, that's fallen through and it's a very tough time to build as everyone knows. So we're back to the drawing board and we're searching for a new builder. In better news, the castle house is officially watertight. It has windows, doors, a roof, and the veranda is almost complete. It has such grandeur as you drive up the driveway and see it sitting there pretty and perfect on top of the hill. It really is amazing seeing it being brought back to life. It is bittersweet that the builder fell through, but as you can see, there's plenty to do. We've got the old house at lockup, so we can focus on the fix out and focus some energy on our productive garden. It's been a year since we made the move to beautiful Rutherglen, so we thought we'd leave you with some of our favourite memories over the past year since we made the move from the city to the country. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. <laughs> it's just so amazing. What type did you start, Bowie? <laughs> 